Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In today's lecture, we will study partial derivatives. Basically, in partial derivative, when we will take the derivative with x, we will take the y constant and while taking the derivative with y, we will take the x as a constant. We are taking our first example as that we have to find fx 1, 3 and our statement is f x y is equal to 2 x cube plus 2 y plus 4 x. 2 x cube plus 2 y plus 4 x. So now while finding the f x of the function x y Function is of the two variables, but we are finding the fx. So for this, it means, for fx means we have to take the y as a constant. So when we take the derivative according to that, it means that we have to just take the derivative of the values in which the x is present. So 2x cube means 3 will be multiplied and the power from power 1 will be minus. As a simple derivative we take like x square its derivative will be dx square divided by we are taking the derivative with respect to x. So it will be 2 the power and from the power we have to minus 1 from the power. So it will be 2x just 2x 2 minus 1 will be 1. We can write it as 2x. So now here the power will be on the left side and from the power we will minus 1. So 3 to the 6x, 3 minus 1, 2. 6x square plus 2y, y will be, we are dealing the y as a constant. So when we take the derivative of the constant it will be 0 plus 4. So this is our answer 6 x square plus 4. Now we have to put our values. These are 1 and 3 which means 1 is our x and 3 is our y. So 6 into 1 square plus 4. 6 plus 4 is 10. So 10 is our final answer. Now we will take the derivative according to y in which we will deal with x as a constant. So, it means now we as we have write the x, now we will write fy. fy, x, y, the function of two variables, what is our statement? 2x cubed plus 2y plus 4x. In this we are dealing x as a constant. So, the value, uh, the value in which we have x will be 0 plus 2 plus 0. The answer is 2. But when we have any variable with it, we will put the value of the y which is 3 at the place of y. And then we will get our final answer. But here we don't have any variable. So this is our final answer. Now we will solve one more example. To solve it, we will just apply a little bit different writing method. The way of finding the partial derivative is same. But writing it is a little bit different. So for this we are taking the z is equal to x raised to power 4 sine of x y cube. So for this we will find out the partial z by x, the derivative of z with respect to x, that x will be constant. And the partial of z with respect to y. We will find out the our derivative of z with respect to y. So we are starting from, so we are starting from partial of z with respect to x. For this, we will write it as partial by partial of x and our value of z that is x4 sin xy cube. Our value is x4 sin xy cube. We will take the derivative with respect to x. Partial of z by partial of x equal to. Now basically this is the product rule. Now we are having the two values that is x4 and sin xy cube. So now we will apply our power rule which says the first value and the derivative of the second value 
साइन एक्स वाई क्यू प्लस द सेकेंड वैल्यू एज इट इज एंड द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द फर्स्ट वैल्यू दिस इज आर पावर रूल सो वी हैव एक्स फोर एज इट इज एंड वी हैव टू टेक द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ साइन एक्स वाई क्यूब विच मीन्स वी विल टेक इट्स डेरिवेटिव एज we will have derivative of sin which is cos xy cube and the derivative of our angle our inside value which means now we have to write as partial by partial of x xy cube plus this value will be as it is sin xy cube and the derivative of partial of x4 by partial of x will be 4x cube. Now x4 cos of xy cube and the derivative of xy cube means we are taking the derivative with respect to x, which means we will take the y as a constant. Now we will take its derivative. X will be simplified partial of x by partial of x, and we are left with y cube. So we have y cube. Plus sine x y cube with four x cube. This is our final answer, but we will write it in an appropriate way. So for that, x four y cube cos x y cube plus four x cube sine x y cube. This is the answer of partial z by partial x. Now we will find out our second value that is partial of z by partial of y. Partial z by partial of y. We have to take the partial with respect to y. The value of z x four sine x y cube. Now here we will not apply the product rule. Why? Because we have x four. and while having the derivative with respect to y we will have to take the another variable as a constant so here our x4 is constant so partial of z by partial of y we will take the constant out of the derivative x4 partial by partial of y of sin xy cube so partial of z by partial of y is equal to x4 the constant as it is And the derivative of sine x y cube, which means the derivative of sine is cos x y cube, and the derivative of it will be x raised to power four cos x y cube, and the derivative of partial by partial of y x y cube, x will be as it is, and the derivative of y cube will be the power n one minus from the power three y square. So our answer is x four cos x y cube three x y square. We will write it as x four and the power one. It will be x five y square and the three also three x five y square cos x y cube. So this is our final answer. Now we will solve one more example. Which is the different from the other two we already solved? Y log of x. Now we have to solve this. We have to find f x and f y. Now you may know that when we find out the f x, we have to take the y constant, and when we take the f y, we have to take the x constant, the other value. F x means partial by partial of x. To the function, function of x y we are having. Of our function, we are taking the f x, so y log of x. It is equal to f x, our function. So f x is equal to. Now, how we take the derivative, the partial derivative of log, our constant will be outside from the derivative, and we will take the derivative of our Partial that is log of x. The derivative of log of x is one by x. F of x is equal to y by x. This is our 
fx. Now we have to find out the fy which means we have to take the derivative with respect to y. We have to take the derivative with respect to y. So now we have to take the x as a constant. So now x is a constant which means we are taking the fy. So fy is equal to y partial of y with respect to y it will be 1 so dot log of x as it is constant so our final answer will be log of x this is how we take the derivative of log that d by d of x log of x or we can write it as partial by partial of x as we are taking the partial derivative so it will be 1 by x now we will solve the one more example. Basically I am trying to solve the different examples for you. So after these examples you will be able to solve all type of partial derivatives. It will be easy for you when you know how to solve the difficult one. So this is a little bit difficult in which we have to use an appropriate formula. So we have to find out f of x and f of y. So as you know for f of x we have to take the y constant and for f of y we have to take the x constant. So f of x will be equal to partial by partial of x. Now I am taking a question. Okay I will write it here again. This is basically our function which we are solving. So an exponential function. Whose power is x. Ex exponential raised to power x and x raised to power y. So now we have to see that how we can solve such question. We will take such derivative as exponential as it is and the derivative of power. So our power is x raised to power y. Now here we are taking the y as the power. So it will be e raised to power x raised to power y and the derivative of power which means the power will be on the side and 1 and power minus 1. e raised to power x raised to power y. y of x raised to power y minus 1. We can write it as y x y minus 1 exponential x raised to power y. This is our answer. Now for f raised to power y we have to take the x as a con f of y and partial with respect to y partial by partial of y. For this we will use some formulas. So starting from basic that uh, how we take the derivative of exponential we will write the exponential as it is. After writing, after writing the exponential as it is we will take the partial by partial of y the derivative of power which says x raised to power y. While finding f of x it was easy for us that we will solving the x and taking the y constant. But now we are taking the partial of y we have to take x as a constant. I think it is not clear to you so okay I will write it here again e raised to power x exponential as it is and the derivative of power x raised to power y. So f of y is equal to we will take it as partial by partial of x a raised to power x. This is I am telling you the formula to which we will you will change according to your situation. So we have to write it as it is a raised to power x. We have to take the log of a and then we have to take the derivative of our power. Now we will apply this. It will be a raised to power x log of x partial by partial of x is 1. So now we have to apply this is our formula which you have to learn. We will apply this formula on our this condition. So f of y is equal to e raised to power x as it is and the partial derivative of x raised to power y. We have to apply this formula at the place of a we are having x. In the place of x we are having y. So it will be x, x raised to power y, log of x and the derivative of, derivative with respect to y, with respect to power, 
so partial by partial of y and the power it will be e raised to power x x raised to power y log of x and partial of y by partial of y will be 1 so our final answer is x raised to y log of sorry it is log of x into 1 log of x as it is and the partial by partial of y is 1 so log of x e raised to power x raised to power y we are having e raised to power x raised to power y. So this is our final answer which is equal to f of y. This is how we take the derivative of exponential. I have solved an example of the simple expression xy, the trigonometry function, the log function and the exponential one. I hope this topic is clear to you. If you have any kind of confusion, you may ask in the comment section.